there was a documentary made a couple of years ago about the subculture of people who continue to play wiffle ball into their adulthood. Um, at some point in the movie uh, making process, someone said, well, nobody really knows how this works. And the movie maker did a quick Google and found out that there's at least one person who was trying to figure out how it works. So he contacted me and came and interviewed me and um, humorously kind of uh, intercut my talking about the physics of wiffle ball in the, vid in the movie with players wondering how it all worked or espousing their own theories about aerodynamics. The reviewers said, that's ridiculous. No one can throw a wiffle ball above, say, 35 miles an hour. It can do all these tricks because of the way the air flows both around and, we learned, inside the ball. Well, you get a bunch of wiffle balls and you put them in the wind tunnel and you take measurements of the forces that are on the ball and you turn the wind tunnel up so it goes really fast and then turn the wind tunnel down so it goes a lot slower and you position the holes in different places within the wind tunnel because you know the wind tunnel is make, making the air go really fast and the wiffle ball stays still. Um, the other thing we're looking at is how different players will scuff or scratch or knife their balls and they sort of basically are doing amateur aerodynamics on their wiffle ball. It's, it's a tremendous learning experience where you're getting to find out you know, the context in which this question is interesting. You get to read other people working through the same questions that you're curious about. So you get sort of inducted into this community of scholars. Having an engineering program in a liberal arts environment is really mutually beneficial. I think that our engineering students benefit hugely from the liberal arts courses they take and from the fact that they know that there's more to the world than just engineering and equations, which are beautiful, but there's more to it. They're at the forefront. They're doing the cutting edge work that has never been done before. Um, and getting to do that as an undergraduate, not just washing someone's test tubes while they do it, but really doing it yourself is a phenomenal opportunity. So, I mean, I love fluid mechanics, um, and I love engineering, and I love literature, and I love lots of things, and I try to share the love when I teach. I try to share my enthusiasm.